Hi, welcome to the next section of this course. In this section, we are going to get started with our first application in Dart. So firstly, in this section, we will create our first Dart application and also we will check out how to write comments in Dart. So let us start with our first video of creating first Dart application. So head back to your Dart pad at this URL dartpad.dartlang.org. So make sure you land on this URL. And within this, make sure you have selected the Dart tab. For better understanding, let us clean up our code. And let us start from scratch. Now any application that we create such as mobile application or the web application has some entry point. In Dart, we have the entry point known as the main function. And in order to declare the main function in Dart, we have to use this syntax of return type as void and then use the name of main function that is main, perfect, followed by the parenthesis and then curly bracket open and close. Now in between the curly bracket open and close, we have to write our program. So here let us give a new line and now give a tab. So within this main method, whatever code we will write will be executed when we launch our application. Now what this void and what this main method stands for, please don't worry about it. Right now just remember the main method is a function or a method in Dart and it is the entry point of our application. So whatever code that we write within this main method will be executed first. And now how to create our first application that says hello world or hello Dart. So for that in Dart we have a statement called as print statement which means print out whatever I am asking in the output console. Within the parenthesis you have to write our code such as hello world. So let us write hello space world. Now since hello world is a text so we cannot simply write it within the parenthesis. Whenever we write any text or a statement such as name or any description or any title or text we have to enclose it within the double quote such as double quote open and then after world double quote close perfect so the pair of double quote after parenthesis we have to end the each statement that is each line of program in dart with the help of a semicolon and now in order to run our program we just need to make use of this run button click here and on the right if you notice we have got our output hello world as simple as that now what if I want to write one more line of code such as this is my first application. So for that again let us make use of the print statement and then use the double quote and write this is my first application. And now if you notice we have done some mistake. In the end we have not written a semicolon. So for that our dart pad is showing us some error, some error or the warning. On the bottom right, if you notice, error expected to find semicolon in the end. You can make use of these messages to rectify your error. So in the end, let us use our semicolon and now launch the application. So along with hello world, now we have got this is my first application. Perfect. And also you can resize the window like this. As per your convenience. Fine. And now let us try to print out some number. So for that again let us use the print statement and print out 4. Since 4 is a number so we don't have to enclose it within the double quote. Because this was a statement or a string. So that is why it needed a double quote. Let us now launch our application. And there we go I have got 4 in the output console. Perfect. Now within the print statement you can also perform some mathematical operation such as 4 minus 1. Let us test our application and now we got 3 such as 4 minus 1 is 3 and also you can perform multiplication or division something like that such as 4 divided by 4 or let us make it 12 divided by 4. Launch the application. Perfect we have got 3 in the output console. And also within our print statement, you can even print out the boolean values. Now what is a boolean value? Please don't worry about it. The boolean value can be either true or it can be false. 
So you can simply type true and false and just run your application and see the result. So here in the output we have got false. Perfect. And throughout the series, whatever code that I have written within the main method for each of the video, I will upload them to the GitHub. And the link to the GitHub repository you will find in the video description, such as right now github.com slash smarthead slash dart tutorial. Go to this link and you will find all the code here. For example, such as the first video of hello world, click on it. And there you will find all the code. Well, I have written few more lines of code which I will update it shortly. Don't worry about that. And so on, you will find other videos code as well in this repository. So just remember, whenever you find any difficulty, just go to this repository and look for the code for a particular video. For example, this is the code for the for loop, which you can find it here. Perfect. So let us continue our discussion in the next video.